Continuing on now. Here we go. Let's hand that soul over to death. Let's go into a bed that's like four times the size of our body. Well, we are a little kid, I guess. Adult guests, I don't know. Everyone's the same height. Come on now. <laughs> Even death. Throw away all them worries. Oh, it's you. Did you manage to pick up any souls? I wish I had that voice. That is so <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Every day is good when Swedish death makes an appearance. You lost soul already? Well, that sure was quick. Yeah, I didn't have to do anything. He just basically gave it to me after you... I told him about chocolate. <laughs> yeah, okay, he, he kind of like has like a like deeper we... voice with the same accent as Meow from Pokemon. <laughs> wow. Hey, thanks a lot. Here, I'll stamp your card for you. What card? What a dream! <laughs> Do we get like the tenth soul free? <laughs> Whenever you get one, go to sleep and I'll catch up with you in your dreams. Death loyalty scheme. Yes. Good luck there, buddy! Okay, so that's that down. Yeah, that's just a tutorial level. So, we're one twelve of the way through the game. <laughs> First one's always easy to get. Yeah, that's just basically the tutorial mission, all joking aside. <laughs> Where did he put that in my room? The odd thing is, uh, the room is actually a safe room in that if you get into here while you're being chased by enemies, they cannot follow you in. Oh, sweet. That and one of the storerooms, for gameplay reasons, also protects you. Mm. But it appears Neko Zombie was capable of getting in here unhindered. <laughs> also, we have no choice but to go into that. Go back into his little cave. His rooms are nowhere near as nice as mine. <laughs> I've got to talk to you about you know what. Do you know Catherine? Time for a blitz. Oh, this is so good. Oh. I'm not sure how to explain this Catherine. other than. <laughs> It's exactly what you think it is. <laughs> you can kind of tell when it switches to the anime. Yeah. Oh. She lives two doors down from me in room 104. Oh, we know. Somebody's listening. Like the look on your face is like <laughs> perpetual shock. I heard that. So that child is collecting souls. I think it's time for a blood sample. Well, wouldn't you be shocked if you ended up here? A giant lizard nurse <laughs> wanted to get your blood. <laughs> yeah, but like, like, his face looks shocked, but his actions aren't. He's just like, okay, okay, I'll go and do this. Well, your facial expressions do change. I'll give you some hints about how to go about getting people's souls. So we can go through all these, but to basically summarize, yeah. don't move around too much when you're looking through a door because they can hear the floorboards squeaking. You can basically use the map to figure out where people are and you can look around corners to avoid being seen. The blue flames indicate that guests have a soul and if you knock on doors, the guests will of course come to answer them because they investigate and you can use this to lure them places. Yeah. So, time saved. <laughs> One thing which really bugs me is that at uh, no point did we really mention what we were actually doing. He just basically said, Oh, do you know Catherine? She lives down the hallway. Oh, yeah. And she was like, I heard that, so you're collecting <laughs> souls, are you? <laughs> it's Gregory's Wacky House. <laughs> Gregory Wacky Show. <laughs> what if someone stepped on it and had an accident? Hmm. <laughs> And then it'd be really cliche. <laughs> Where is that brat? James! I'm the I think this game deserves some credit because message. it essentially is extremely cheesy and cliched in everything it does. You but can't say it's not unique though, really, in a, in a lot of aspects. On the other hand, it's like insanely fun to play. <laughs> yeah. Uh oh. Get away from the door, 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 get away from the door. <laughs> 
Actually, at this point, Catherine won't attack us. No. We're actually probably meant to talk to her at this point. <laughs> <laughs> You're Boris. <laughs> oh, that face makes me want to do terrible things to you. I think okay. I'll make your job harder by running away. <laughs> Oh no, don't run away. <laughs> so, they can run, we can't really. We just do power walking down the corridor. Well, you know, who's in the rush? Same <laughs> time, is that Gregory coming from this way now? Yeah, that's him coming out of the darkness. So we can't peek through the door at the moment because he's coming along. Can you talk to him? Uh, there's no point really at this point. But you can, like, get various dialogue by Catherine, talking to him. Ah, yes. Just recently, she slipped on a banana peel that James left lying around. Please be careful that you don't do the same. Otherwise, you might slip and end up dropping something important. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> it gets better. Um, if you don't know where to get a banana peel, you can, like, listen to Neko Zombie talking to himself. <laughs> and he will tell you... Essentially, that like, oh, food, kitchen, food, kitchen. <laughs> Can oh. we go into the store at this point? No, we no. can't. Okay, the storeroom is a place you can buy items in the game. Mm -hmm. So, as we explore the game more and more, we'll be picking up various stuff. Oh, this is the door to the hotel, by the way. It's locked. So, no escaping. <laughs> it's the door to the kitchen, I believe. Sweet. Dining room's interesting, it doubles as another point you can hide. <laughs> now it's a first person game. <laughs> this game has a lot of really interesting mechanics in that you do have like first person yeah. looking around and you can move around in first person. But because you move and look so slowly, there's no real point to do it. Well, for, for like an anime ad adapted video game, it seems a, uh, more effort than most I put into them. It gets better, you have status effects, you get tired, you can get ill, you can get confused. There's just so much that happens in this game. I don't feel. You can argue it's not implemented properly, but it's really, really good. Anyway, enough talking about the game. Actually, start showing us doing something in it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go uh, stop that crazy lizard woman. <laughs> Hmm, maybe I should really, really, really get to the woman who wants to get me with a giant syringe. <laughs> That's James. Thankfully, we avoided him there. Oh, what does, he, what does he do? Well, James, for the most part, just wants a friend to hang around with, and you being the only other kid in the hotel, he'll follow you around. But because James is a prankster, at the same time, you run into problems because James will just call you out on every prank you try and do. Oh, I see. Just, he tries to get you in trouble all the time. Just follows you around, gah! So, yep, Catherine's coming okay. down this corridor, so... Let's do it. Do that. Ah, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to make it as obvious as possible. <laughs> is she gonna do it? Is she gonna oh. do it? Is she gonna... Is she... Yeah! <laughs> Get the soul! Do it! That's surprisingly easy. Okay, so we've looted an evil lizard nurse. And teleport to safety. Yes. Is Neko Zombie's place also safe? I don't actually know, I've never tried it. Huh. Some rooms do lock off when you're trying to escape. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, Jesus. It's gone! It's gone! My soul, it's gone! That kid must have taken it. Now I'm really angry. Oh, the humanity. Oh, humanity. <laughs> <laughs> hey, now we've got this thing after us. <laughs> We actually now have an enemy in the game who can hurt us what can you quite horribly. <laughs> <laughs> things are starting to heat up a bit. Just run away. 
Now one last thing, yes. Around here, the power of your beliefs is everything. Sanity <gasps> meter. <laughs> nice. The strength of your mind. All great games have a sanity meter. You'll never be able to escape from this place. Oh. What's that? I saved the worst for last? Yes. Sorry about that. So, that's that. Uh, yeah, yeah. It goes down over time because you're, you're living in Gregory House. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna, like, mess with anyone's head. <laughs> What's this thing? I don't know. resonate with your mind and make it stronger for a while. That means you have to consider when you're going to hand a soul. The theme of not going in insane? I'm not sure. I love the soundtrack for this. Yeah. It's like happy also, pipey music. And voice, then you got like eerie electric guitar for <laughs> yes. your mental power. Plus, by reading a good book, yes, you can actually increase your mental gauge. <laughs> Look at his face like, okay, yeah, alright, this makes sense. <laughs> Just worried about you. That's all. Oh. oh Thanks, right. Neku Zombie. You gotta love Neku we'll Zombie. Go after judgment Boy's soul. Yes. Do you know Judgment Boy? Who's only the second best character in the game? <laughs> Do you know my name? Judgment! Judgment so there's that thing. Final judgment on troubled hearts. Got cat, mouse, lizard, that thing. <laughs> that thing, yeah. He's like a theme of animals, and then a scale, sentient scale. <laughs> Good job today. Now go back to your room and get some rest. Tomorrow's another big day. Let me go and hand uh, the next soul on to death. Yep. And get some sleep. I don't know if we have a choice to leave the room at the moment, but... Might oh, as well, since we're in the room. Just get the soul to safety. Yeah. I think the guests can take him back. Yeah, I think that's what uh, Gregory was hinting at before. Mm. Oh, it's you! Did you manage to pick up any souls? <laughs> So, you only brought me one, huh? <laughs> it's like one guest at the hotel! <laughs> Jeez, man! <laughs> you should be happy I got you any! I take it? No. <laughs> I think Neku uh, Zombie did bring this up hey, at one point, but if you have a bunch of these on you, then it actually strengthens your mental gauge, so oh. horror shows will hurt you less. If you I have three souls on you, it buddy. does next to no damage. But at the same time, it's quite easy to lose them, so... Yeah. It's probably it's... best. You gotta strategize in yeah. Gregory Horror Show. You gotta prioritize. Two out of twelve tend to go. <laughs> 